The beginning of March marks a change in the landscape of Pennsylvania trout fishing. Many streams get shut down to fishing as statewide stocking efforts begin to take place. This doesn't mean you can't fish, you just have to be a little more careful. Specially regulated stock streams such as delayed harvest artificial lures only remain open, as well as non-stock Class A trout streams. The past few years I kicked off on March trout fishing with a trip into the mountains to fish for native brook trout, and this year was no different. These Class A brook trout streams can range in size and difficulty, but they rarely lack beauty and seclusion. I often minimize my gear, which includes fishing without a net. They aren't necessary to safely handle these small fish, but as you will see throughout this video, a net would have been beneficial since I was aiming to test out my new camera lens. Despite no net and a few unfortunate GoPro malfunctions, we had a great time and laid eyes on some beautiful fish. Yeah, and if you can get like, so flip it up into there first, then go to like where those rocks are sticking out and try and get it as close to that tree as you can and drift it down through there. Nice! Let's go! Alright, lift him up for me. Ah, oh, he he's gone. Him. Yep. I touched, that's what the barbless hooks do. There we go. Even though we, uh... We have the belly on that guy. Do you want, what do you want me to take? Do you want to be able to take a picture? Yeah, pull the rod for now. This is what I guess I should have brought a net. <laughs> I can't believe he didn't fall off yet. He did. Oh, okay, yeah, that's fine. Right. Some of that water is like six feet deep. Yep. Oh, there we got one. Got one? I'm stuck in the trees. I don't need to photograph this one. What? I don't gotta photograph this one. We'll catch He's one. He's not as pretty. He's a smaller too. Yeah. He's still certainly pretty. He was right down, like, I would say right at the base of that, like, rock. Yeah. The wind's kind of howling and blowing it this way. That's really good for my guys. Yeah, it really helps out here. Uh, Woo! Let's go! Alright, taking photos. Peek. Dang it! Sorry. Right. After some early success, we hit a break in the action. Almost as a joke, we put on a squirmy worm and immediately got it from cakes. But like this next fish, they just grabbed the tail and couldn't actually hook them. So we quickly switched back to nymphs and ended up getting into a few more fish. Look at him! <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> he was pulling on the tail. He had the tail stretched out as he lifted it out of the water. That's a tank. What? That's a tank. What? Yeah, get your hand wet and hold on to him. That wasn't the one I saw chasing. The one that chased it was bigger. That one didn't have a pretty good color either. Nah, when they're a little like that, they don't. They're so freaking slippery when they're that small too. Yeah. You barely can hold them in your hand. All right, you get another chance. <laughs> Me. I don't know. As soon as I grab him. Alright, you got a big one now. You got a big one now. Hold on to him. Every time I get a little big. Alright. Alright, I thought I was going to get one there. I didn't know you were getting hit, but I thought you were stuck on this log. No way. <laughs> Alright. I'm doing the next one, but... I've been too bad with trees, you know? Nah. Nice! Bring him here, bring him here. I'm going to stretch him. 
See how they just flop around? Yeah, that's what happens. That's just the way they flop. No, you grab it. Don't grab the line. Just grab the fish. You can do it, Kyle. Travis. With our ending spot, the mouth of another small stream, in sight, we were finally able to grab a few pictures of another fish. So the lesson here, it's easy to safely release natives without a net, as long as you don't want to take pictures. Thanks for watching.